guys and welcome back to another video on our channel Mithlin Miniatures. Um, today we're going to be showing you how to paint a warrior of Minas Tirith. Now it can be either one of the three, it's the same process for all three of them. So it will, it will either be a spearman, a bowman or um, just a standard warrior with a sword and shield. But for now we're going to go with the spearman. start things off we're going to do uh, the warrior's face so what we're going to do is because we're using uh, army painter paints we're going to start off by using a bit of uh, tan flash to just get a, a base coating um, for his face up next we're going to do a, a lighter shade of his flesh called uh, barbarian flesh again it's army painter and then what you're going to do is just going to go over um, the previous paint and do all like, the cheekbones and the areas around the eyes and the chin and also around, if you can possibly, in between the areas of the lips as well. Finally, what you're going to do is have a 50% barbarian flesh as well as a 50% another army painter paint called mummy robes. There is an equivalent for this but I'm due to purchase it and then all you do is just it's like a lighter version so you're just picking out the little minor details of the cheekbones around the eyes and also the chin as well. We are going to do his armour, so I'm going to start doing all the armour uh, pieces with a bit of uh, gun metal. Now if you are using paints from Citadel, what I will do is I'll throw um, some converter or con paint conversion links in the description. Uh, finally, what you're going to do is edge highlight the armour with 50% uh, gunmetal and 50% uh, mummy robes or um, whatever the paint equivalent is. And uh, again, you can look at the conversion charts as well if you're using Citadel or Valeo, Valeo paints. And you're just doing the, the trims of the armour. Uh, the in-betweens and also around the outside of the edges as well as on the helmet, the shoulder guards and also the uh, the fan braces. To start things off doing the browns and the leathers you're going to go over all of those things with um, oak brown. Then after you've done that, you're going to edge highlight it all with uh, werewolf fur. And then what I normally do, because I've got the different equivalent of four werewolf fur from army paints, I use um, fur brown instead to do the necessary uh, leather browns and everything. start doing the cloth underneath the armour you're going to need 50% uh, matte black and 50% coated robe. Again I don't have this but I opted to use great uh, uniform and then you're going to do the areas of um, the behind the legs and also the cloths on, on the back and also the front as well. If 
finally after the, the wash is dry, pick the edges out with a wolf gracie, bringing out the defining uh, details and creases of the, um, the cloth that is um, everywhere that I've said previously. Now we're going to work on the uh, the hilt of the sword again because I'm doing a spearman. The sword is already in a sheath, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the handle of the sword. So we're going to start off by painting that uh, with a leather brown. It's, it's it brings like a, a dirtyish look to it, so that's what we're um, going to start off with. Next we're going to highlight those edges with a 50% mummy robes, again it was an equivalent to one that I had before for Army Painter and then also a 50% leather brown one as well to get those uh, edge highlights. And finally onto the shield, we're going to start off by um, if your shield is already black that's great if it's not then I would suggest um, painting that black first before you start um, doing the, the detail of the the white tree of Gondor on the front of the shield so after you've done the black um, start off by doing the mummy robes or the equivalent of that uh, by going over the the tree uh, decal on the After you've done that, just go over your tree with uh, matte white or whatever the uh, the equivalent is for that. Um, remember to take your um, time painting the tree and judging from what you can see on mine, it will look a lot better as I'm currently <laughs> brushing it. But hopefully when my own skills pick up, then I will learn to um, paint all of the trees and everything on my miniatures better. the base in any style that you want but um, I've opted not to do the base yet because mine's going to be like pretty basic I'll probably just put some PVA glue on and throw some stones on it but I've not decided yet so I'm going to leave it um, blank as it is for now but um, yeah this is how you uh, paint the warrior of uh, Minas Tirith and it, again it doesn't matter which one you paint it's all of them so once you've painted all of your army they're ready to go to defend the, uh, the walls of Minas Tirith with uh, Gandalf the White. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy some more painting tutorial videos.